In this screencast, we're going to profile the JDBC demo session that comes with JProfiler to explore the features of the telemetry section. I'll start CPU recording as well as JDBC probe recording from the beginning and let JProfiler switch to a snapshot when the JVM exits. Telemetries are an essential feature for a profiler. They help you get an idea about when things happen in the profile JVM and how various subsystems are correlated. For that reason, the telemetries overview is the first thing that you see when starting a profiling session. The overview shows all the telemetries that you see in the view selector together in a single view. First of all, they include all the system telemetries. System telemetries come from scalar data sources that JProfiler always measures because they do not add a substantial recording overhead. In addition, you can see the telemetries for recorded objects. They require allocation recording, which adds a lot of overhead and is not started by default. In the header, there are buttons to start allocation recording, and the context menu takes you to the recorded objects view in the memory section. One of the telemetries that is of interest for performance bottlenecks is the CPU load telemetry. It makes a big difference if the process load is high during such a bottleneck or not and will take your investigation down different paths. Here, the process load is close to zero because the demo session doesn't do anything by default. You first have to start the database in the control window. Now there is a little bit of process load, but not much. We can see that at the same time, some classes were loaded and a couple of threads were started. It's useful to have this information on a common time axis. However, this is a database demo and we don't see any database information here. That's because all information related to JDBC is in the JDBC probe. Probes handle high level features that are recorded on demand. In general, JProfiler tries to record as little information as possible by default and offers separate recording actions for all its features. In the startup dialog, we chose to record the JDBC probe so the data is already available. Let's open the JDBC probe. In the timeline view of the JDBC probe, we see the activity of the JDBC connections. And the telemetries view shows various telemetries related to JDBC recording. One way of correlating this information with all other time resolved views in JProfiler is to add a bookmark at a point of interest. Let's add one at the point where the connections were opened. We see the same bookmark in the timeline view, the threads history view, and in many other views, including the telemetries overview. This works for a small number of important events, but not for correlating telemetries in general. That is why JProfiler allows you to add probe telemetries in the telemetries section. The Configure Telemetries button brings up a dialog where you can control the contents of the telemetry section. The Add Telemetry button is a convenient shortcut. In the Probe Telemetry Registry dialog, you can select one or more telemetries that should be added. Let's add all the telemetries from the JDBC probe. In the view selector, you can see the three new telemetries prefixed with JDBC. We're now in a single telemetry view. Let's go back to the overview. Now we can clearly see the correlation between the new threads and the start of the JDBC activity. To see the related telemetries close together, you can use drag and drop to reorder them accordingly. Probe telemetries have a context menu that lets you start and stop probe recording, navigate to the associated probe view, and remove the telemetry again. The single probe telemetries are also useful because you can select the time range to show the single probe events. Events have to be recorded for this purpose. By default, event recording is not enabled for probes, but once you start it, the recording option becomes persistent. Probe telemetries are not the only telemetries that can be added to the telemetry section. There are also script telemetries and mbean telemetries. 
Both of them can be added with the Add Telemetry Toolbar button. And the whole set of custom telemetries can be edited in the Configure Telemetries dialog. This dialog is especially important for the other telemetry types, where you can group multiple lines into a single telemetry. There is a separate screencast with the title Custom Telemetries in JProfiler that shows script telemetries and MBean telemetries in detail. All these settings are saved to the session configuration and to snapshots. In fact, the probe telemetry feature also works in snapshot. If we close the demo application, JProfiler will save a snapshot and then open it immediately. The probe telemetries in the telemetry section are still there and it's still possible to modify the probe telemetries. As you can see, JProfiler's telemetry section is an incredibly versatile tool giving you instant access to all relevant metrics of your application.